Hi all, and welcome to this week's update. Hopefully you can hear me over the AC. It's uh, running continuously now because it's now uh, pretty warm. I think it's going to be, I think DH said it was like 10 something, 103 tomorrow, um, Fahrenheit and Sandy. So, yay. Um, but yeah, it's Friday again. Got my, got my coffee. Got my pup, which you can't really see, but she's right there. Um, snuggling the poo out of my leg. I just got back from India yesterday. I had a fantastic trip. I will share with you guys um, in the coming days, uh, as soon as I start pulling things off of my camera, uh, little vlog clips and uh, picture updates, and then I'll do an update for the blog once I get everything all kind of processed. Um, I'm gonna figure out if my poor little aging computer can process any of this stuff. <laughs> So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, suffice it to say, I had a fantastic time. Uh, I went to Fort Cochin area, like Cochi, Fort Cochin area. It's it's the area that I went. It's south uh, west. It's in a like a state called Kerala. Um, it's called Cochi, K O C H I, on the map, and C O C H I N as well, so it's it's got two names. I think Cochin is the more historic name and Kochi is the more modern name, but like it's kind of interchangeable. Um, we stayed in the Fort Cochin area, which is kind of like a peninsula-ish off the mainland. Um, yeah, it was really good. It was not terribly dissimilar to the feel of Sri Lanka, which was good because that was familiar. Um, but it was definitely something apart. India is India. I mean, there is no, no mistaking where you are when you are in India, which is awesome. Um, it was just fascinating. I think my favorite part was just riding around in a tuk-tuk, like just riding around town, watching the world go by, like the riot of color and you know, noise and vibrancy and just the mix of like brand new buildings and dilapidated buildings and you know advertisement and just the people wandering around was just great like you would see I hope it comes across in some of the time lapses I did because you know, of course I did time lapses from the tuk tuk um but my girlfriend that went with me and I were just kind of marveling at you know, just, you would see the women, um, and most of them wore saris, since, you know, it's how women dress there, um, but even, like, the everyday kind of, you know, boring saris are so beautiful, they're so colorful and individual and just stunning, like, even a plain cotton, which is kind of like, I'm gonna go clean the house in this, is so to our eyes, it looked so fancy. Um, but it was just, everybody just looked so dressed up <laughs> to us. And even, you know, you'd see the guys, even if they wore traditional dresses and wore uh, it's kind of a linen skirt thing that they can either fold up and have short or unfold and have long, they had long sleeve button down shirts on on top. I mean, I think we saw two kids in t-shirts and they were teenagers. Um, one guy in like a polo shirt, everyone else long sleeve button down shirt, like really thin long sleeve so they could roll it up um, and not, you know, sweat to death. But like, yeah, nobody in like, well, we'd see guys in pants, but you know, they were trousers or nice jeans, like lots of guys in like really, you know, well fitting going out. Like I would, I would consider them going out for a night on the town jeans, not like everyday scruffy jeans, but, or if they were scruffy, you know, artfully scruffy jeans, but yeah, it was super neat, um, didn't get sick or anything, you know, felt fine the whole time, you know, mosquitoes were, were biting, my, my girlfriend's allergic to mosquito bites, so that was really rough on her, um, but yeah, the place we stayed was fantastic, it's called Greenwoods Bethlehem, 
um, it's a little homestay, and the the trip advisor had said that they will adopt you, and it's a really good feeling. And uh, yeah, that was right. The the woman that runs it is fantastic and warm, and and you know really concerned about you having a good time and and loving where she's from. So yeah, it's awesome. Uh, food was of course great. It's India, of course. The food was amazing. Um, some of it was more amazing than others, but yeah, it was amazing. I was so excited. Like the first thing, was it the first meal I ate. I think it was the first meal we ate. Um, we just went, you know, rolled up to the little beach area uh, where the Chinese fishing nets are. It's kind of a, yeah. You know, we were expecting it to be. Well, I was expecting it to be like super over touristy, and it it is geared for tourists, but also locals. Um, we just you know, went to like the first little restaurant we saw like right off the little this like really stunning playground um and had a dish called chicken 65 um, which I would had just been watching this really cool show on Netflix called ugly delicious um David Chang um who is a popular chef in New York and kind of one of the people credited with bringing ramen noodles um to the New York dining scene and then the states um, so, in my mind, one of the most important chefs uh, of the last, you know, few decades. Um, when, you know, somebody really doing cool stuff, if you don't know who he is, check it out. Um, he is, it's his show, and they, him and other chefs and friends that like to eat, um, examine things like pizza or fried chicken through like kind of the lens of you know, where it comes from or like what it means like you know the political side of like things like you know pizza is very politicized um and fried chicken of, of course is uh, so it'll examine like the fried chicken episode examined fried chicken like what what is fried chicken throughout the globe which um it's you know kind of everybody has fried a chicken pretty much um you know, everybody looked at that bird and decided it was going to be tasty to eat. Um, and, you know, if you fry things, then you have fried a chicken in your culture. Um, and then what does it mean in different places? Like, of course, in the American South, it's a very, you know, very tied into racism and, you know, identity and, like, cultural identity and who's cultural, like, who can claim it as a cultural identity and, you know, should it be a cult, you know, it's just very interesting, and, and that part of the show was interesting and slightly, slightly infuriating, because it was a little one-sided, I thought, um, but it was still really interesting to, to hear what they were saying, and then they, you know, did other places fried chicken so Korea's fried chicken and India has a fried chicken and I got to taste the Indian fried chicken because come to find out like I'm so glad I saw that episode a couple days before we left uh chicken 65 is is from the Kerala area and had the chicken 65 and it was really awesome and I'm making it at home um it's chicken that's been marinated in like coriander and ginger and garlic and like a few other things for a while and then it's fried in a particular way that just makes it it's not like American fried chicken so it's not like a flour and egg or buttermilk batter it's like a it's like a hard not hard but like a complete I guess it's like more like tempura casing but crunchier I guess that's how I would explain it it was delicious and I want to make it no, anyways, enough babbling about food nerd television um, when I just woke up. <laughs> if not, I think I'm only like a quarter of the way through my coffee. Um, but yeah, India was great. I had a great time with my girlfriend. Um, we kind of didn't plan a lot. We just kind of left it up to what tours and stuff were available through the place we stayed. Um, and had a few highlights that I had read about on, you know, Pinterest and through blog posts about, you know, things that you must see in the area. And then we just kind of, you know, left it open to what we felt like doing that day. We did some 
yoga in the morning. We did had some Ayurvedic massages. Um, yeah, I got rubbed down with coconut oil and camphor, which was nice. Um, I actually did my hair. I don't think I took a picture. I should have taken a picture of my hair. Uh, they did a they did a head massage the first day with oil. So like my hair was like dripping oil all day, and it's now like it's drying the oil is coming out slowly but good god was there a lot of oil on my hair it was like strings like you know like clumps of hair that were just like twisted in oil and i looked like i had bro cream on my head i you know looked like a dude that had that just went ham with the the hair oil that day and it was like flipping in my face and i was smelling coconut oil for days and ugh. Nice massage though. Felt really good. And my hair feels actually really soft. <laughs> so there is that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like we did, we got to experience a lot of fantastic stuff. Like we went to the big mall there to see, I was curious to see like what people buy in the mall, like, you know, what quality of clothing and like what, what is there available to buy. And it's a ton of Western brands and a ton of, you know, homegrown Indian brands. And it was really cool to see um, that take on a mall. And, of course, it was, you know, dead crowded because it was the mall um, in, like, a busy part of the city. So that was super cool. We got to do a backwater tour to see, you know, kind of traditional life on, like, these houseboats. And, yeah, we did all kinds of cool stuff. And... I will show you guys that soon. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up so I don't hit my 15-minute time limit. I hope your week was fantastic. I hope you have a great weekend. I love you, and I will see you as soon as I can, as soon as I can get something processed. I'm going to try to sit down and focus on it today. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.